Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, um, in editing the last video, uh, I ended up uh, taking out a bit of stuff. One of the things I took out that I figured I'd just make another video about is uh, our uh, thoughts on um, solar power and wind power. Um, we've had a lot of wind and that this the last couple winters, actually. So, uh, with that... Uh, we're just kind of thinking about doing some uh, wind and solar panel, uh, whether we're, we go completely off grid or, uh, you know, just partially. I'll probably start with a smaller system where uh, we're just partially going off grid and uh, uh, see if that can cut down our power bill. Our power bill isn't too bad. We sit right at about $100, $108 a month. Um, and that's with their equal pay program so uh so anyway uh the video that i edited out of the other video is going to go through and talk about uh more about uh you know what what we're thinking about doing where we're going to uh, place things uh, but looking at a wind turbine and some uh, solar panels um, but uh, that's kind of what we're thinking and this video uh, next, we'll uh, kind of uh, show you and describe what we're thinking. So I'm going to drop that video right here. So behind me is the house. We don't even use that antenna. And so I'm thinking, I, I'll have to look, but I'm thinking about putting the wind turbine there. That's a pretty good spot. It's wide open to where the winds come from. Because the winds are usually coming from this way through this way they also sometimes come this way so uh, I was thinking about doing the wind turbine up here um, I don't know if I can use that same thing or not but this corner of the house is kind of where I'm thinking uh, to put the wind turbine and then um, this is the south side of the house and so I would take and put the panels on uh, this back side of the house. Now I have plenty of space. I could literally, I, I don't even have to fill the entire roof. Um, but if I were to fill the entire roof, the back side of the roof with panels, uh, it would, I'm pretty sure it'd be more than enough to power the house and maybe even the shed. Um, I've thought about taking and putting panels because I want to eventually, I'm going to take the shed and insulate it and i'm going to make um a partial shop out of it storage on the back side and on this side and then or i guess this side will be the shop side and then the uh, the back side will be where we have the storage and everything but i've thought about taking putting panels up on this side of the roof because the sun the sun comes up across here and so we'd get some exposure to this and I am planning on taking the, the rest of these trees out here. Um, and so I think I could probably get enough light. Um, I'm, I'll have to time it this summer and uh, see how many hours. Um, I, if I remember correctly, you want roughly eight hours of sunlight, sun exposure. So if I can get that on the, the side of the shed, I might take and put, um, you know, two, four panels on uh, the shed, and that's how I plan on running the shed. Um, now the house, I'm not exactly sure how that's all going to work out and pan out. Um, I know I can do the shed. It's a super simple setup um, to do the shed, and I can do I can power the shed for um, under a thousand dollars. Um, well, with the lith, it depends on the batteries. If I just do a couple marine batteries, I could probably, uh, do just fine. Uh, if I decide to go with lithium batteries, which are going to be best, um, it's going to be more. But, uh, if, as you can see, the, the roof, the back side of the roof, I mean, I have tons and tons of space. And I'm seriously considering just putting panels uh, on this portion of the roof uh, from from bottom up. So it'd be two rows of panels. 
Um, and that's what I'm considering doing. Uh, and then the shed, like I said, put some up on the shed. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're, what we're considering. Um, I don't know yet if that's, uh, going to happen, but, um, it's something that's definitely in the works. Um, and then, you know, if I end up doing it, uh, for sure, we'll make a video, um, about it and, uh, what it takes to, uh, put it all up. But, uh, anyway, some future, future things. Um, but yeah, uh, so a uh, little announcement as far as our status in, at this property. Um, so we have looked um, at getting uh, some bigger property. And uh, at the moment, it isn't, it just isn't in the cards. Um, so it looks like we will be staying here for a few more years, which is no problem. We can make things work. Um, so we'll definitely have more projects for this place to come. Um, we still plan on getting, uh, whether it's up here or heading back into the lower 48, uh, we definitely still plan on getting some land in the future. But for now, we're going to try and make this half quarter property or half quarter, half acre property work for us and, uh, see where we go from there. So lots of little improvements that we have in store and, uh, we're not going to go through the list. Um, we've given you our goals for this year and we're sticking to those. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's, it's hard to stay on track sometimes because there's so many things that you want to do. Uh, you have an issue with one thing and as you're trying to, to figure that issue out, you realize, oh, hey, we could improve this process. Um, so, um, and as that happens, we've been writing them down. Um, but definitely the projects that we have in store for uh, this year, uh, getting the holes fixed and, and uh, you know, focusing on that is is our number one priority um and then some of the others we'll just kind of analyze and see where we are at budget wise and uh you know time wise so uh we're doing this and i'm still working full time and uh uh so we we stay pretty busy so uh we'll just see what happens and keep you guys all updated I uh, hope you guys have all enjoyed this uh, video for uh, this week, and uh, we will try and keep up on videos, uh, at least try and get one out a week. Um, I apologize. It's just, it's just been super busy, and I uh, haven't been able to kick out uh, videos as quick as I've wanted and that. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, end this one here, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and... Uh, you know, enjoy. This is Brandon from Wilson Life.